A deal to clean up one of the nation's most notorious Superfund sites located in Tom's River is drawing blowback from environmental watchers and the residents who say their family's health was harmed. But the State Department of Environmental Protection is moving forward with a cleanup settlement at the former Sibagaygi plant, which illegally dumped chemicals throughout its years of operation and allegedly caused a child cancer cluster. Ted Goldberg has that story. I live with a child that was diagnosed at three months of age with cancer. I worked with all of these children with cancer with the organization that I formed, Ocean of Love, and I buried over 150 children. Linda Gillick blames Siba Geige for her son's diagnosis. Michael defied doctors' expectations and will turn 43 in February. He's lived 42 years beyond what they said. He was born with neuroblastoma, a cancer of the sympathetic nervous system. His body is ravaged by the tumors, but he is the most brilliant, funny, beautiful child, and I wouldn't trade a minute of him. The Gillicks have lived in their Tom's River home for 52 years, nine blocks away from a pipeline used by the former Siba Geige plant. Four decades of legal and illegal dumping turned the former plant into a Superfund site and the subject of a $13 million settlement paid in 2002 to families affected by childhood cancers like the Gillicks. Under a new settlement proposal with New Jersey's Department of Environmental Protection, most of this site would be turned into a protected park and BASF, the successor company to Siba Geige, would pay $100,000. $100,000. Let me tell you something. That <laughs> can be spent within a week of the child's treatment. The DEP says that money would pay for assessing damages and overseeing cleanup. Commissioner Sean LaTourette emphasized that this settlement is to address environmental damage, not health problems. What this settlement is about is about harm to natural resources. And the state has an obligation to respond to that injury. And it is very distinct as a legal matter, as a regulatory matter, from an individual's experience of harm. The settlement would create a thousand acre park occupying most of the former site. BASF tells us they expect to sell the rest of the lot to an interested party. The ideas that we have are the restoration and, and enhancement of floodplain wetlands, the creation of trails and boardwalks to minimize human impacts to the ecosystem while providing recreational opportunities. I would like to see the, the ecological center that they're going to have on the property to accurately capture the um, environmental damage that was done by, by uh, Sibagaygi. Tom's River Mayor Mo Hill is uneasy about the proposal. It's not clearly explained who's going to be controlling and paying for the upkeep of the environmental center and the property itself. They have a 10-year commitment, uh, but what happens after that 10 years? We're known for two things in Tom's River, the 1998 World Series and the book Tom's River. Dan Fagan wrote that book, which details Siba Geige's dumping and the cancer cluster that developed in Tom's River. He won a Pulitzer Prize for it in 2014. It definitely feels to me that BASF got off pretty light. He says this settlement could set an example for other settlement proposals nationwide. Many of these cleanups have been going on for decades. They've been pumping up, pumping and treating groundwater. And it's a really interesting question of how clean is clean enough. What I want is nothing to be there. That's not going to happen. I just hope that if this does go through as proposed, that the safety is the foremost thought in everyone's mind. If the settlement is accepted, the DEP says some of the park would be open to the public within five years. In Tom's River, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.